you guys able to get a scrimmage in over these last two two days? And if so, were you playing with the one team? Uh, no, we were just, you know, going over a little bit of what they do, making sure we were working on us and a little bit of recovery. Dudes, I know it's not one man's going to kind of – stop Tyrese Halliburton, it's a team effort, but what are you trying to do when you're on him and you're matching up against him? Make it as uh, difficult as I can. Um, be disruptive, be aggressive, but just understanding that he's, he's a great player and you know he's going to be a lot more aggressive tonight, so just trying to be mentally ready for that. Josh was saying that, that you, you guys kind of know you get, you get a different Tyrese at home and after what you know, he's kind of listened to the last couple of days. Do you, do you do things the same way you did it or expect you have to do something different? I think I got to go up a level um, as we do as a whole team. I think, you know, we do things the same way. You know, we might not get the same results, so we don't go up a level, you know. What, what, did you, what have you learned about taking on that defensive assignment? Because, you know, you did it really successfully against Steph Curry. Um, last series, it was up and down against Tyrese Al I mean, Tyrese Maxey. What, what have you learned about those kind of assignments? I think just not relaxing. Um, I think the way they play, uh, they're always – on attack mode, and I think if you give them any little space that they're just great players and they're going to take advantage of it. So just not relaxing, being more ready. How do you expect them just to counter you as a team, like especially as, as much as you kind of full court denied you know, Tyrese? I and mean, what do you expect them to do, not just Tyrese, but in terms of off-ball screening? And just, I mean, what do you expect them to kind of put you through, I guess? I think definitely a lot more off-ball screening um, would probably be something they, they've talked about. Um, maybe a, a, a lot more cutting, just a lot more movement, I think, just to get me off the body. I mean, you, you started the season, like you started the season obviously out of the rotation. Now you're playing in the starting lineup for the team that could go to the Eastern Conference Finals. Just like, what's that emotional ride been like for you to kind of have the ups and downs this year playing key minutes down the stretch? Yeah, I mean, honestly, just trusting in God that, you know, he had a plan for me. I never, you know, wavered. I always made sure I was mentally tough through it up, uh, through the ups and downs of, you know, a whole season. So I just wanted to stay ready. Did your teammates? <clears throat> excuse me. Did your teammates help you with the ups and downs when you weren't playing and stuff like that? Just telling you to be ready and how that. Went? Yeah, definitely. Um, teammates, staff, whole organization just really has always, you know, kept me in their, uh, you know, their pocket, just making sure I was mentally ready because you know it's a long season, so guys are going to go out, so they just want to, you know, make sure I was ready. When you say I need to take it up a level, what, is, what does that mean for you? I think looking at film. Um, obviously, you know, he didn't go scoreless, so and he was still impactful in, in ways. So my goal is for guys to go scoreless to, you know, make as a minimum of an impact on the game. Have you collaborated with, with Jalen, just two high IQ guys, about how to get the mental edge um, in this game, specifically defensively? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Jalen's been on it as a leader. Uh, he's been talking to us, just making sure that, you know, we're we're staying very focused and doing whatever, whatever we can just to be more mentally prepared. Miles, not a game question, but you were an elite quarterback in high school, obviously an elite basketball player. It's been a debate uh, started by Austin Rivers. He said uh, 30 NBA guys he thinks could play in the NFL. Being in this league for as long as you have, knowing football the way you do, what do you think? 30? I mean, that's pretty safe out of, you know, 400, 400 guys. I think, you know, not what they do is definitely not light when it comes to just understanding play calls at that level is insane. Um, 30 is tough, though. I don't know about 30, to be honest. <laughs> I'd maybe say 10. Does that, what you did, I mean, state championship stuff, like in high school playing football and having it all on your shoulders as a quarterback, does that help you in moments like this when you rise from the bench to being a key piece? Yeah, definitely. I, I try to take from, you know, a lot of different experiences I had um, growing up and, you know, just try to use it as, few, as fuel. I'm trying to picture LeBron as like a wide receiver. <laughs> hey, those guys are, are tough. I'm not going to lie. They're strong. That'd be tough. You in the 30? You put yourself in the 30? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you uh, wearing, like, the Rangers stuff, right? Mm -hmm. um, have you been following their run, and how cool is it that you guys are doing it? Yeah, I'm glad they, they finished it out. Um, you know, we see those guys around the facility a little bit, and, you know, we're always telling each other good luck and, you know, just go get it done. So it, it's good to see that they're having success. Do you have one guy in mind of the 10 that you were thinking about that you say you watch him and you're like, hey, he could probably – I'm trying to think. Off rip, man. Pat Mahomes says Lou Dort. Lou Dort? Nah, I'm not buying that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not buying that. Ah, uh, maybe, maybe a little tight end. Honestly, 
I think Josh could be a solid tight end. Yeah. I think Josh would, our Josh would be a, a good tight end, honestly. Uh, just overall, how do you describe your defensive strategy and mentality? Uh, like I said before, just trying to be as disruptive, be di make uh, his job as difficult as I can. Do you feel like I remember when you and Jalen were barely playing at the beginning of the year mm -hmm. together? I mean, it, do, do you do you feel like I remember you said to me at the time you were like, "We'll figure it out eventually." Just two high IQ players, like we'll figure it out. Do you feel like, especially after the last game when you're just screening for him all the time and you guys are getting buckets for him? pops for you like do you feel like that's exactly what you were envisioning yeah absolutely I mean there is a there's a possession last game where you know a lot of guys had touched it and then and ended up with me uh hitting a floater and I think just that just came from you know more reps and like I said when you're not practicing as much in the regular season but you know we've had more time to talk and just to look at the game and and, and figure it out together defensively they went to Tyrese for very little pick and roll in that game do you feel like the way that you were kind of denying him the ball off the ball had any effect on that? I think so. Um, he, you know, he's not a guy I feel like that's going to take away from his teammates. I think he has a lot of confidence in his teammates being able to handle things. So if I was denying, he was going to kind of go with the flow.